Today is your maths class. Let's recall the previous topics. Students, we have already learned about counting in tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, and ninety. Well done. Okay, students. Do you remember ascending order? Yes. From the smallest to greatest number. Now, while counting in tens, the smallest number is ten. Then twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Sixty, seventy, eighty, and ninety. Ninety is the greatest number here. So the boy is going through the arrow in ascending order from the smallest number ten to the greatest number ninety. Now, students, do you remember descending order? from the greatest to smallest number while counting in tens the smallest number is 10 and the greatest number is 90 okay the greatest number is 90 then 80 70 60 70 80 Forty, thirty, twenty, and ten. Ten is the smallest number here. So the boy is coming downwards from ninety to ten. Students, in the previous lesson, we compared greater number and Smaller number, eighty, sixty. So, sixty is smaller number, and eighty is greater number here. So we have abacus now. This is an abacus. It has two rods. The rod on the left is for tens. The other rod on the right is for ones. Now, students, as I have told you about the abacus, now look at the first abacus. There is zero bead in ones rod. So we have zero ones, but in tens rod we have one, two, two beads. It means two tens and zero ones. Two tens and zero ones make twenty. Twenty. Now look at the second abacus. There is no bead in ones rod, so we have. Zero ones, zero means nothing. But in tens rod, we have one, two, three, four, four beads. Four beads means four tens and zero ones. Four tens and zero ones make forty. Forty. In third abacus, we have no bead in ones rod, but we have one, two, three, three beads in tens rod. Three tens and zero ones. Three tens and zero ones make thirty. Thirty students. 
take out your countdown book 1 and open page number 23. First part of both questions is done. Rest of the parts will be done by you. Look at question number 5 now. What does the abacus show? Write in the box. Part A is we have 0 beads in 1's rod and 3 beads in 10's rod. 3 tens and 0 ones makes 30. You have to write your answers in the boxes. Question number 6 is draw beads on a abacus to show the numbers. Part A is we have 0 beads in the 1's rod and 4 beads in the 10's rod. 4 tens and 0 ones make 40. So you have to complete the rest of the parts like this. Students go to the next page, page number 24. Question number 7 is how many tens in the given numbers? As you know that right side is one side and left side is ten side. So there are zero ones and four tens in first part. Four tens and zero ones make forty. So how many tens are there? Yes. There are four tens. You have to write your answer in the triangle. Go to the next part. 60. Next one is 90. And the last part is 80. Question number 8. Write in tens and ones. Part A, there are zero ones and two tens. Two tens and zero ones. You have to write that how many tens and ones are there. Part B, 30. Part C, 70. Students, you have to complete part B and C like this and write your answer in the box. Question number 9. Write the missing word. Part A is 2 tens, 0 ones. 2 tens and 0 ones make 20. Students, you have to write the number name here. Part B, 4 tens, 0 ones. Part C, 7 tens, 0 ones. And last part is part D, 9 tens and 0 ones. So, you have to complete your answers like this and write your answer in the boxes. Students, we have an activity here. Counting in tens. There are six frogs in the pond. One frog has number zero. But five frogs have lost their numbers. Can you help them? Okay, let's help them finding their numbers with the help of number line. We have number line from 0 to 50. Now, take 10 jumps forward from 0 to 10. We have found 
the second number that is 10 second jump will be taken from 10 to 20 we found the third number that is 20 third jump will be taken till 30 and we found the next number which is 30 fourth jump will be taken till 40 and next number is 40 and the last jump will be taken till 50 and we found the last number that is 50 well done students we have found all the numbers and frogs are very happy now shake it shake it shake the bell you have done it really well okay students now tell your answers with the answer sheets page number 23 question number 5 is what does the abacus show write in the box part a 30 part b 70 part c 10 Question number 6 is draw beads on the backers to show the numbers. Write in the box part A 40, part B 20, part C 60, part D 50 and part E 70. Page number 24. Question number 7 is How many tens in the given numbers? A part 40 4 Second is 6 tens Third is 9 tens Fourth one is 8 tens Question number 8 is Write in tens and ones Part A, two tens and zero ones. Part B, three tens and zero ones. Part C, seven tens and zero ones. Question number nine. Write the missing word. Part A, twenty. Part B, forty. Part C. 70 part d 90 very well done students so complete your answers like this and tally your answers with the answer sheets thank you students